Hi, I'm Dr. Alison Davidson. Welcome to our Analytical Methods Laboratory. This laboratory is here for all our students at the university, but is especially used by our forensic science students. Let me show you some of the equipment that we've got in here. And this is equipment that we'll get you working on right from your first year and even your first weeks at the university. So I'll just give you a quick tour and then we'll look at some of the specific instruments you'll start with. These are our liquid chromatographs. They're really good for drugs analysis, but also all sorts of biological samples. Around here, we've got our gas chromatographs on this bench. We use this for blood alcohol analysis practicals. These instruments are used for fire accelerant practicals. And down here, we have a gas chromatograph with a mass spectrometer, which is a particularly good instrument for all sorts of analysis. We'll come and have a look at this again in a minute. This beast is the pride of our laboratory at the moment. It's a liquid chromatograph with a time of flight mass spectrometer, which allows us to do research quality um, analysis of all sorts of samples. We use this with our forensic science students in the second year, and third year students right across all our degrees can use this for their project work. Um, it's a really excellent piece of equipment. You can get some amazing data from it. On this bench, we have a range of um, atomic absorption spectroscopy instruments, um, which are really good for metal analysis. And I wanted to show you this one in particular. This is a flame photometer, so this is actually a flame emission technique. And this technique is an analytical version of what you might have done in your schools and colleges with your flame tests. So where you've perhaps um, looked at how sodium salts provide bright, bright yellowy orange flame, this instrument will give you a reading for it. And one of the first practicals that you'll do with us is use this instrument to determine the levels of sodium and potassium in possibly contaminated baby milk. So this is where we'll start you off. Something that's got some familiar theory for you, but is introducing you to analytical techniques. And then I'll show you one of the other techniques that you might well use. So this is the gas chromatograph with the mass spectrometer that I showed you earlier. By the time you come into our third year, one of the big modules is called Investigating and Reporting Crime Scenes. In this module, you collect evidence from the crime scene, analyse it in the laboratory, and then you'll go to court to present your evidence. We use the GCMS for the analysis of drugs. So what I've got here is this year's student samples collected from the crime scene. and you can see that different peaks will say which different drugs are in there. And if we look particularly at this peak here around 18, 30 minutes, we can get the spectrum and then we can bring up a search window. And this in fact is diacetyl morphine or heroin. We're very fortunate here at Staffordshire University. We have a drugs license. So we do use real drugs in the crime scene and that's important because when we're doing the chemical analysis, we want to make sure you're seeing the real drugs for that analysis. I hope you've enjoyed your very quick tour. If you're interested in finding out more, do please go to our website and we hope to see you later on. All the best, bye.